outfits with an outrageous claim. In 2019, Mamie turned to me after receiving a similar letter that she wouldn't receive benefits until 2031. I was so scared. Next week, they probably don't take my furniture. Back then, the government claimed she owed $224,414 in student loans. Mamie never went to college. I was able to get the government to take a closer look, and it was determined it was a mistake. The monthly payments resumed until last month. If I could get it straight out, I'd be kind of calm. The House representatives and Senate have only a few weeks left before a new government shutdown deadline. Some of you guys may be able to receive more money than usual if you're struggling to pay your rent or mortgage. Many states have already proposed new housing relief assistance for the residents. And also, states across the country have sent checks or given tax rebates to people in an effort to provide relief from inflation that is running near a four-decade high. About 20 states have offered some form of benefit relief this year as prices for food, electric, and other essentials have just skyrocketed since the world re-emerged from crisis-induced lockdowns. So, many states have flush coffers and budget surpluses thanks to vast federal crisis relief funding and increased tax revenue. It comes as economies just rebound from the crisis every single day. It's pretty good everybody to know that stimulus checks are still there. But one thing that's a little disappointing is this. Residents of New Jersey have an extra month to apply for a tax relief program that can return up to $1,500 in your bank account. The application for the Affordable New Jersey, Communities for Homeowners and Renters, is known as the Anchor Program. Homeowners with incomes of up to 150 grand will be eligible to receive $1,500 in relief, while homeowners making between 150 grand and $250,000 annually will be eligible to receive $1,000. So, New Jersey Senate, the New Jersey Senate President said, "For the residents of New Jersey, affordability is the most pressing issue, and property taxes are the greatest burden." We are making use of resources to address this need by helping homeowners and renters with direct financial assistance. Renters are also eligible for this program, though they will only be eligible to receive $450 if they make less than $150,000 annually. The deadline for applications was originally set for December 31st, but now it's even pushed back a month. So this gives people more time to get the stimulus checks they need. The eligibility of New Jersey homeowners and renters requires them to have occupied their primary residence by October 1st and now for them to file or be exempt from New Jersey income taxes. According to state officials, that is, homeowners and renters interested in applying can do so online. Now, congressional leaders left a meeting with Joe Biden, resolving to both quickly avert a national railroad strike in the coming weeks and negotiate a trillion dollar plus year end spending bill in the coming days. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the Senate will work to pass a railroad agreement as soon as possible after the House takes it up. The railroad industry, its unions, and government officials have negotiated for months on a worker contract but with potential strike looming as soon as December 9. Biden has called on Congress to step in and oppose the current agreement, which some unions have deemed insufficient. According to House Speaker Pelosi, left out of the meeting was any talk of increasing the nation's debt ceiling before the year end. Schumer said that Democrats and Republicans must work together to lift the nation's debt limit by the end of the year. And after the White House visits, McConnell said, we have a really good meeting that laid out the challenges that we're all collectively hearing. And I think there's widespread agreement that we'd be better off with a stimulus bill than a temporary spending batch. But there are some significant hurdles to get over that. The next few weeks amounts to do more than a jam-packed lame duck session of Congress in recent memory, with major items on a legislative to-do list delayed until after the midterms, adding to the already massive to-do list. By an ex-Congress this week to intervene in the potential rail strike, while Pelosi said the House will take a crucial vote this week to ward off the stoppage. So, we want to see President Biden send out more stimulus payments. Hopefully he can do it now. Guess what? They pay a penalty and they have to rebate the difference back to Medicare. We don't let them get away with that. This new law also means Medicare access to additional free vaccines, including the one for shingles. Now, we all know someone with, the, with this painful illness, and sadly, we may all know someone who put off the shingles vaccine for it because it cost too much. President Biden and Democrats in Congress are helping to end all of that and make prescription drugs and access to life-saving health care more affordable. The Inflation Reduction Act also helps more than seniors. It builds on the Affordable Care Act's success by expanding coverage and cutting premium costs. This saves about 2.7 million Floridians who have ACA coverage, an average of about $590 annually. That is real money, my friends, real money. 
and it lowers their drug prices, helping 139,000 people in my district alone. More than half a million Floridians will have health insurance who would not otherwise have had it without this new law. That is vital, life-saving care. And who did that? Joe Biden and congressional Democrats. Look, we all know that Social, Social Security and Medicare are on the ballot in Florida. It is a top-of-mind concern for all of us. If we protect these critical lifelines, if we make, then we'll make lives less stressful and more dignified for millions of our older friends and neighbors. Protecting Social Security and Medicare helps every American family, whether it's today for a loved one or tomorrow for yourself, quite frankly. My friends, it is the professional honor of my life to have the privilege of representing our community in our nation's capital. And it is incredibly special to have President Biden in our district here today. And now, I'd like you to help me welcome Sheldon Armas, who will share how this life-changing legislation helps millions of Americans gain greater access to less expensive quality health care and prescription drugs. And tons of money. We just spent trillions of dollars and we don't have it. So we had to borrow that money. As we borrowed that money, then the Federal Reserve prints more money and that money floods into the circulation and it devalues what we have. What does that mean? Higher prices. So when you go to the grocery store and you see the rising prices of vegetables, fruits, everything, and especially meat, it's because we spent too much money. We borrowed too much money. President Biden is now announcing that the Senate is very close to passing a massive spending bill. Bernie Sanders is pushing Congress for another vote on a relief package. And Americans are currently experiencing financial difficulties right now, so a fourth stimulus check would definitely help many people across the nation. So we have very exciting news, and it's that President Biden just announced recently that Democrats are close to passing his spending bill, which will include many relief provisions for the people. Biden said during his speech that, in my Build Back Better, can lower prescription prices, and now we just have to get it through the U.S. Senate. During his recent during his speech, President Biden recognized that new federal data shows worsening inflation in January. But President Biden tried to turn it into a sales pitch for a spending bill, which would help buy families and seniors. The bill currently includes child care and home health care, everybody. Biden said inflation is up and it's up, but the fact is that if we're able to do the things that I'm talking about here, it will bring the cost for average families down. Biden claimed his bill is fully paid for with new taxes and therefore is not going to worsen inflation. Everybody, it's important to remember that the Congressional Budget Office has said that the bill would add $367 billion in unfunded spending. The House passed a sprawling bill with a $2.2 trillion price tag back in November. And Manchin has criticized his fellow Senate Democrats of gimmicks that undercounted its true, its true cost by making new programs. Inflation has tanked Biden's popularity.